Hey guys, we're back again for day five, week one of Discerning the Voice of God by Priscilla Schreier. Um, so we've made it through week one. I'm so excited. All right, so this is day five, the fifth day. So let's pray and we'll get started. Thank you, precious almighty Father. We are just so blessed to be here, Lord. We're so blessed to be able to spend time in your word throughout the week, Father, doing this Bible study and just just meditating and, and absorbing your word and applying it to your our lives, Lord. And we just praise you for what you are doing, Father. We pray, Lord, that you would just continue to speak to us deeply, Lord. Help us to hear your still small voice, to know that it is you, Father, to discern your voice, Father, and and to listen to you and to walk in obedience to you immediately, Father, when you tell us to do something, Lord. And, and we just praise you for all that you are teaching us, Lord. And we pray that your will will be done in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I hope you guys had a good week. Um, so let's get started. So we are on page 34, um, day five, the fifth day. And I love this from John Bailey. <laughs> Um, Almighty God, in this hour of quiet, I seek communion with you. I want to turn away from the worry and fever of today's work, from the world's jarring noises, from the pl mm -hmm. from the praise and blame of other people, from the confused thoughts and fantasies of my own heart, and instead seek the quietness of your presence. And, you know, I'm reading that right now saying I've got to write this down so I can speak that when I am praying because that's definitely something that I need right now. Um, so we need to have an ongoing prayer request and that is, Lord, reveal yourself to me. More than anything else that might define or characterize my circumstances, I want to hear his voice, detect his fingerprints in my life, and see him moving within it all. So I love what John fourteen twenty one here says. The person who has my commands and keeps them is the one who really loves me. And who really loves me will be loved by my father. And I too will love him and will show myself to him. That, to him. I will let myself be clearly seen by him and make myself real to him. His word tells us to plan on it on obeying whatever it may seem to cost and not to wait another second before we start. What we do in preparation before we hear from God is just as important as how we choose to respond to God after we hear from him. God doesn't just speak to be heard. He speaks to be obeyed. So also, um, I love this, the definition of the original Greek word for reveal in John 14, 21 means to exhibit, to appear in person, and to declare. All right, so this one's a quick one. There wasn't really anything um, in here. I do want to, uh, um, it said uh, at the bottom here on page 35, it said, this is your day to listen when you get up from here, it's time to obey and what he's showing you to do. And I just wanted to kind of share with you what I felt he spoke to me about. Um, so I'd written down grow, obey, listen and hear him, um, humble obedience. I won't be perfect, but I must be purposeful. I need to rid my pride, surrender, tender, submissive heart. I need to seek his will and not mine. I need to submit. I need immediate obedience, study God's word constantly, let go of, of my own stuff, be willing to pay the price, be in relationship, align life around God, believe, be faithful, not flawless, righteous, right living. I need to put on my armor, be still and quiet and ask him to reveal himself to me instead of treating him like a genie in a bottle. So on page 37, there are some things that I really love that that um, her father said, Pastor Tony Evans. 
Um, obedience activates God's presence and power in our everyday lives. He stands ready to reveal greater illumination of his will to anyone from whom he de detects obedient motion. So he's willing to reveal his will to anyone to whom he detects obedient motion. So if we're ready to move, he's ready to show us his will. Jesus made clear the direct relationship between obedience to God and communication with God when he said, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our abode with him. John fourteen twenty three, Obeying his word leads to closeness in relationship. Not only does it draw us closer, closer to both the Father and the Son, it frees the Holy Spirit to communicate with us. Thus, the whole Trinity is involved in speaking to any believer who prioritizes obedience. Obedience that is motivated by love for the Lord. The goal of love is obedience. The more you love someone, the more you want to please them. The more you want to please them, the more intimate relation your relationship grows. The more intimate your relationship grows, the freer the other person feels to speak to with you. Communication is a relational issue which love drives our obedience. In which love drives our obedience. Um, so he was giving an illustration here. Um, of a man who gave her a list of 25 demands he expected her to fulfill as his wife. Um, and it tells a story, and I love the last thing that he wrote here. She was obeying from love now, not duty. And the result was a relationship in which they shared everything together. And that's the kind of relationship I want to have with my daddy. The further we drift away from God, both in love and obedient lifestyle, the less we will hear from him. Coming near, loving to, coming near, loving to obey him invites the intimacy of hearing his voice. So let's turn the page to page 39. We are starting part two, his listening equipment, the Holy Spirit. And I will give you the answers to the... Um, video questions so the first one is this is my beloved son listen to him Matthew 17 5 the Holy Spirit is the primary way that you hear from God the Holy Spirit is your seal and I love what this says here. If the sin of Old Testament times was the rejection of God the Father and the sin of New Testament times was the rejection of God the Son, then the sin of our times is the rejection of God the Holy Spirit. And that was from Stephen and David Olford. And the next one is the Holy Spirit is your pledge. Every human being, saved or unsaved, is made up of three parts. Body, soul, and spirit. If the Holy Spirit lives in you, you haven't been changed. You have been exchanged. Relationship is the prerequisite for recognition of God's voice. A red light of conviction is his way of saying stop. The yellow light of dis-ease means wait. So if you're not feeling peaceful or whatever... You have this dis-ease. You need to wait. A green light of ease and peace is his way of saying go. All right, guys. So that was a quickie. Um, so we will be moving on into week two next week. 
And so you guys have a blessed week. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you get notifications of when these videos come out um, or any other ones that I may put out. Um, I need to start working on more of them for different subjects. Um, don't forget to invite your friends. Um, feel free to share. Mm -hmm. Feel free to share these videos. Um, and uh, don't forget to comment questions, comments, commentary, whatever. You know, you can do that here on the YouTube channel or you can do it on my Facebook page, which is the Armor of God. You can find that on my Facebook um, um, if it's easier, my name is Linda Kiesling, K-I-E-S-L-I-N-G, Bolton, B-O-L-T-O-N, um, and my page is public, and it's up there on my wall, um, and so you can find that page, the arm, and it's, it's still under the armor of God, because I didn't want to confuse people, and I'm getting a lot of lacks every week, and so, um, you know, feel free to start posting and commenting on there, or on the YouTube channel so we can kind of do this together and if you have any questions I'll do my best to answer but you know let's 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 chat about this you know tell us what your opinions or thoughts or what God spoke to you about is whatever whatever you feel like putting down um, and I pray that you guys have a blessed week and we will see you next time take care